William James said, Action may bring happiness, but there is no happiness without action. Hello everyone and welcome to Blind Beauty. I'm Jennifer. What we are going to do today is I'm going to share with you my eyeliner collection. Now I'm also going to be doing some decluttering of these items. Now, uh, I do have several of them here, some of which I have never even touched. Like never even opened so this right here is my eyeliner current eyeliner collection this is in a little long basket you can pick these up from the Dollar Tree and uh, Walmart also has some like it you can get like I think it's three or four for a dollar so we're gonna go through these and I'm going to give like mini reviews as well if I can on them and what do you say? We just jump on in here and get started. Some of them, though, I will not be able to tell you the brand or certain things because it is so hard to see. But I'm still going to give it my best shot. This right here is the Double Ego Duo Ended Eyeliner. Uh, Bora Bora. It's by Pure Minerals. Now, I have used this before. Uh, let me wipe off my brow product off my hands here. It is an, like a light blue, well not a light blue, but a, like a more like a royal blue color. It has a retractable side on one end and a liquid on the other. And it is actually really pretty. I've just barely used it, so I'm going to hold on to this because I like a blue eyeliner every once in a while. Even though my eyes are green, it sometimes can make my brows pop, or my eyeliner pop a little more, or my eyes pop a little more, rather. And this right here is the Essence Super Fine Liner. Now, if you saw my recent eyeliner tutorial, I did use this and that, and this is a major favorite of mine. I already know I want to keep that one. Then this here is the AOA Studio, oh, by the way, the Essence one before I go on to the AOA. The Essence one is really good. Now I do recommend, if you can, leaving it standing up because I have two of these and I learned that the one I left standing up in like a cup or something with the tip side down, it does last a lot longer than whenever I'm leaving it laying flat. I know some people say they last, some of them last longer if you leave them flat and that's okay, but different Different eyeliners will behave differently depending on how you leave them laying in a container. Now we'll go into the AOA Studio Wonder uh, Wonder Eyeliner, I believe is what it's called. Yeah. Now this here, believe it or not, on the website it says it's waterproof. Now it is, I believe it's waterproof. It's not a hundred. I would say it's more water resistant. You know, because it is easier to get off and it is a very fine tip brush that is what I like about it and the thing is it's also very black and these are only a dollar by the way that's from shopmissa.com doing a little swatch here right there I mean that is black black now this kind you it's like in a triangular shaped tube kind of like the wet and wild one that I'll be showing here in a little bit as well but this right here is a good liner for whenever you need to do something, do some kind of eyeliner and you're wanting a good liquid. Looking at my swatch here. And it is rather thin liner too, so it is fairly good for beginners as well. So that is definitely a keeper. I do have some in here though that's not going to be keeper. Now this here is a Wet n Wild H2O proof. Uh, eyeliner. It's in a similar container as the AOA Studio, only it's more oval shaped at the bottom. And this one is in black, by the way, as well. Both the AOA and the Wet n Wild are both in black. And this tip is quite a bit thicker than the AOA, but it still does a beautiful job. It has more of a brush tip a bigger brush tip. Right there is the Wet n Wild one. You know, and it is a great eyeliner. I love it, especially for if I'm going to be out on a rainy day. 
that's something that is a very good thing. Now this here, uh, I believe this is by Elf, this one. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, it's by Elf, and I believe this is just their nude liner stick. It's a tan colored liner, and that's not a bad liner for, you know, for, I think it was two, three dollars at most, but I still like the Rimmel liner that I'm about to show you better than that, and I prefer the nude color in this. This is the black one of the Rimmel Scandalize Coal Eyeliner. Now, this is an actual pencil pencil, rather than, you know, the retractable pencil. But this is a great eyeliner as well, so I do want to hold on to that. And this is another L, uh, Essence Super Fine Liner. Yes, I do try to keep a backup of that because it is so good. Then this here is the NYX Pencil Eyeliner Eye. I, well, it says eye eyebrow pencil, which I don't know. I guess it is in style now to do purple eyebrows, but, you know, it's more of a lavender purple whenever you do a swatch of it. Now, this would be a very brightening pencil. I've used it a couple of times on my lash line. Um, I think I'm going to use it on my waterline next time. And then this here, I'm not impressed with it all. It is the Colormate Liquid Eyeliner. This is one from the Dollar Tree. I just couldn't get it to do very much for me. I used it once. It has a brush tip. It's kind of like the Wet n Wild one. You know. And I believe this is in purple too. Yeah. I think it's in purple. There's no color on here. But I'm not impressed with it. It's not a something I like. I've had it for a while as well, so that one's got to go. Then I have the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny, I believe is what this is called. I've actually worn the label off of it. But this one here, it is a it is not retractable, by the way, but it's one that you do roll up. To do your eyeliner and I showed here it is a really good pencil liner it can go very very thin it is waterproof it stays in the water line very nicely and I like it I mean it's one that I think I heard um, Emily Noel 83 talk about this first and you know, it's not a bad liner so I'm gonna hold on to that one and then this here I'm not sure whether I want to keep this one or not uh, I did liquid eyeliner. It's by Ico. I think I'm going to pass this one on. It's never been opened, never been used. You know, I'm going to pass that one on. I'm just not a fan of it at all. And then this one here is, uh, uh what is it? Unfortunately, it's so shimmery here. Design. I don't know, honestly. It's very hard to read it. It looks like it's just a straight up black pencil. One that I've never even used, by the way. Because I can tell by looking at the pencil that it's never been used. So I'm going to pass this one on because I do have other black pencils that I like better than that one. So I'm going to pass that one on. And this is the uh, Skin, S-K-I-N-N, -N, Bright Eyes Liner. And it is one of the ones that I was talking about, kind of like in nude, that I love so much. You know, and a nude liner, what it does is it, is it helps open up the eyes a little more. So I'm going to show you a little swatch of this. Put in a fairly good sized swatch right there. I mean, it is a really pretty liner to help brighten up the eyes, especially if you're doing a darker makeup look. So I'm going to hold on to that one. That one goes in my mascara thing still. Uh, which I'm going to be doing my mascara soon, too. 
And then this is the star look. Uh, now I have used this one and I've actually, I know it's a liquid liner. It's hard for me to tell anything about it though. It's a pointed tip liner. I've had this for so long I wouldn't, you know, I've only used it like twice probably, but probably toss that one instead of just passing it on. Then this here is a great liner, by the way. It is one that's about the same price range as the Essence liner. It is the Nano Liner by Absolute. That's how small the tip is on that one. Now, you can get Absolute from some beauty places. That right there is what that looks like. I get mine from my little beauty outlet that I have close by me. You can find them there. They're fairly cheap. I think it's only like $3 or something like that for these. I mean, that is how fine of a line you can get with this Absolute. It's Absolute New York uh, Nano Liner. Ultra Fine Precision Liquid Liner. Now this one though, it's not waterproof. The Essence one is. So, you know. And then this here, I've never even used. I don't believe it is in. It is the no. I haven't. Clinique, pretty easy liquid eyeliner pen. Looks like that right there. I'm not gonna swatch it or anything because I've never used it. You know. I'm gonna put that over to the side to pass on as well. Then I've got the and I've never used this either. It is the Vintage, I believe Vintage Cosmetics, Jessica Lip, I don't know, Lips, Lipskin or something like that, Smoky Eye Pencil in Jet back, Black. I've never used it. I might have swatched it, but no, I, it doesn't even look like I've swatched it. So I'm going to pass that one on. I don't like to keep a whole lot of expensive liners anyway because I don't use them. Now this here is, let's go with this one first. Um, this is the Jaune de Bleu. J-O-N-T-E-B-L-U liner in dark brown. Now, I will actually hold on to this one. I haven't used it, but I will hold on to it just because it is a dark brown liner compared to all my black liners I've got here. Then this is the Galactic liner in black noir. This is precise eyeliner marker. Looks like that right there. Now, I, I've used this one a couple times and it's alright. I think I'm going to hold on to that one just so because you know, I like to have something for whenever I do run out of eyeliner that I can at least go to. Now this here is the Illamasqua Precision Ink Eyeliner Liquid by Illamasqua. Now this one here, you twist it open like you do the um, Shop Miss A and the Wet and Wild, and it's a tube like that. It's not like the pins that I was showing. And I'm going to pass this one on just because I'm not a fan of this style, unless it is the others, because, I mean, this one compared to the Wet and Wild and everything, it's quite a bit thicker, it seems, than the Shop Miss A one. And it just wouldn't be as, as user-friendly for me, so I'm going to pass that one on. Whoops! I'm throwing stuff at myself here. <laughs> then I also have a, this is the, um, Mega Last, Wet n Wild Mega Last eyeliner. Now it's one of the retractable ones. I'm still working with it and trying to form an opinion on it. It's kind of like the Rimmel retractable one. And the couple times I've used it, it's not bad, you know. And this here is the LA Colors Eyeliner. Y'all, no. No. Do not, you know, 
it did not stay it transferred really bad i mean it goes on real pretty but it just there's no staying power spout blah, blah, power with this one you can pick it up from the dollar tree but no it it's got to go it's uh, yeah no and then this here i got in a boxy charm a while back and it is the Kat Von D tattoo liner and i've never tried it it's just a sample but i'm holding on to it because you know i'm wanting to really try it out and form some thoughts on it and this is the wet and wild mega liner in brown it's kind of like that um h2o proof one slightly smaller brush here but it's like a what i consider a black brown because it is such a dark dark brown but that is a good eyeliner so i'm holding on to this one as well you notice i don't keep a whole lot of brown liners and then this one here i can't even remember what the brand is the ink blacklist eyeliner it's the one that we got from oh it's pretty vulgar is the brand i mean it's real pretty don't get me wrong i uh, have i even tried it no i haven't even tried it i've opened it up just to look at it a couple times but i think i am going to hold on to this because i do want to compare it to some of my other liners like the elf liner and the kiss liner and it's so pretty you know keep this sitting on my uh desk over there instead of in the thing that way i've always got a liner ready to go too but i am going to hold on to that one at least well no i'm actually going to put that in the give it one more shot area and then i have the elf liner cream liner or gel liner in black and it's a really good liner too it was one of the very first ones I ever used to start doing my cream eyeliner with a brush rather than from a pencil or whatever. Then I also have the brown shade. Now I'll have to try these out. We'll try the brown one out one more time. I'm putting it in the one more shot area too. But the black I'm definitely holding on to. I know that it works really well. And then the only other two products I have in here are the Kiss eyeliner which is a good eyeliner. I think it was only like three, four bucks for a set for with this and a stencil and I think even a brush that came with it too. And that's the Kiss eyeliner. It's a gel eyeliner. And this is in black. Yeah, gel eyeliner. And then I also have the e.l.f. brow and liner thing. I'm not sure what it's called. Unfortunately, e.l.f. doesn't see fit to put the names of products on the product anymore so you know but i do have it as well and that's a really good product too if you're wanting something that can double for brows and liner both but that right there are all my eyeliners i mean you can tell i swatched quite a few here and i'm getting rid of a few but keeping quite a few too you know because eyeliners, that's one thing I'm still kind of getting used to and everything. So, I'm putting my give it one more shot things to the side here. Then I'll throw away, the ones I'm completely throwing away are the LA Girl, the Star Looks, and the Color Mates. Just because they are crap, in my opinion. And I do have a few here that I am passing on, going to declutter. I'm going to put in my declutter bag here. And that is the vintage cosmetics eyeliner a illamasqua eyeliner one that i couldn't tell for sure what the brand is uh all i can tell is it says eye pencil <laughs> but i've got this one here the ico eyeliner and the clinique eyeliner i'm going to pass all five of those on to other people so, but this right here is my current eyeliner collection. So, I do apologize for not having this video up yesterday. I meant to have it up. Unfortunately, I battle with migraines, so sometimes the video is up a little later than normal. But I do try to upload anywhere from three to five times a week, three to five days a week, rather. 
and I also try to um, do my beginner beauty series on Fridays which is today as I'm uploading this so I also have that video coming up this, this afternoon as well so I do hope that you hit that subscribe button so that whenever I do upload videos you can see what I have coming because or what I have up rather because I do have a lot of good things coming including some Halloween stuff I have some holiday looks coming you know I have quite a few ideas coming for the holidays for my hair videos for eye tutorials all that and I also have a beginner beauty series where if you don't know how to do makeup I talk you through how to do the basics and we're going to slowly build on that as well so I'll leave all my playlists down below that you can check out and I also have uh, Instagram Facebook Twitter snapchat and if you want to talk about all things affordable beauty I invite you to join me in my Facebook group blind beauty support where we do talk about all things affordable beauty including hacks dupes you know I also get your opinion on different ideas. I do some get ready with me videos in there as well. So I hope you join me over there. And I'll leave that link down below as well. And I hope to get to know some of y'all. And thank you so much for subscribing and being a part of the Blind Beauty community. Bye bye.